Up until yesterday, this used to be the report with the largest power loss on a single side of a rally report that I have ever seen. And today we're going to take a look at the report that shattered this record. What's going on guys? Cheers. Now, when this good father versus phantom report first came out, it was shocking, right? Over 400 million power loss for a single side. And I wasn't sure how long it would be until we saw something greater than this. Now, let me preface that by saying there may be multiple reports out there that are more power loss than this one, but I hadn't come across one until today. And we're going to take a look at that as well as a couple of other insane rally reports that have happened over the last couple of months since the last time I made a video like this one this is the fourth in the series so if you want to check out some other insane rally reports go ahead and check out the rest of them on my channel now before we jump into the six most deadly reports that I've seen over the last couple of months I just want to do a quick honorable mention for what I think is probably the most deadly if not top three most deadly reports that I've ever been a part of and this was the past defense by Rex Licious in my current KBK that is now quickly coming to an end uh, this was an 83 million power loss for Hazel killer or Hasio killer not sure how you actually pronounce that but this was a pass that we were defending for a very long time I think it was past seven and this was just insanity that was going on here okay so you could see here that we had 2.3 million troops versus their 2.8 Tons of healing with Zenobia, Isun, Sin. Rexlicious was one of the one of the uh, more powerful uh, garrisons that we were using here for this pass. Um, we have 3.2 million deads on our side versus 3.2 million deads on their side. We had 4.8 million sev wounds versus their 5 million sev wounds, and we've got a, a similar amount of slightly uh, slightly wounded remaining here. You can see the AOE doing work on Isun, Sin, and this was just a really cool uh, a pass defense to be a part of. We were holding this pass for. A very very long time just constantly rally after rally and we were holding double rallies for for like days basically so this was a really cool uh, report that we had here Mimi came in with her uh, second rally we took a, a bigger loss here on this side than we did on the original rally there obviously um, but yeah really crazy stuff here I love the <laughs> salty salty Jimmy over here the, the best best icon in the game so just want to give a quick shout out to everybody in fire camp and everybody in my current kbk uh we everyone that i fought with was absolutely insane during this kbk so it was definitely one for the books and one that i was happy to be a part of if you guys want to know more about my kbk drop a comment in the comment section below maybe i'll make a separate dedicated video without further ado let's jump into the list number six most deadly war report we're gonna be talking about today is none other than so fucking hard versus stacy lee this looks like it happened in september we have 84.6 million lost for edward of woodstock up against the charles e Songye pass defense 145.5 million power loss on the pass side actually insane this must have been some sort of kvk2 pass defense because obviously we're seeing a lot of Esong here. We're seeing Edward and Martel. Those are not things that you typically will see in any sort of even KBK three, let alone season of conquest. So for an early KBK, this is an insane report. So I'm not sure why we saw Esong here instead of Tamiris, although perhaps they're just trying to get that free AOE value, baby. And I don't actually have the full report, so we can't scroll through and see how much damage so fucking hard was able to uh, deal here. But we do see, was this pass just not full? Like what, what's going on here? We only got a million troops in the pass and uh, we got 1.7 for the rally. We see 8.6 million deads for the rally and 8 million severely wounded versus 17.8 million deads for the pass side and 16.5 million severely wounded totally insane it's a two to one ratio same thing with the slightly wounded slightly wounded was a two to one ratio here and it does look like there were no remaining so the actual rally was defeated the pass did stand after this i don't know if there was perhaps some sort of counter rally or something that was going on here uh to prevent this this rally from taking down the pass obviously they could have just continued to reinforce and reinforce uh but from this screenshot it looks really good from the rally perspective maybe this was the second rally right and the first rally actually got destroyed i have no idea what the uh what, what the deal is here so if you guys have any more information about this specific report you can comment down below if you were there let me know i would love to know sort of what went down here and uh sort of what caused this rally to lose despite it actually dealing insane amounts of damage to this pass this obviously was a full 
uh infantry garrison right because this these archers just did crazy work moving on to report number five we have none other than hajib versus squalid queen this is not a kvk2 report okay we see 148.2 million power loss for the pass zenobia isun sin still sort of the garrison meta at this point not much has changed there but they're getting hit by pakal Herald. This is an insane rally report, and we see lots of damage done by Pakal Herald. A lot of players don't expect insane stuff like this from Pakal Herald. You're always looking for those Gilgamesh rallies or those Zangyu rallies. Those are the ones that seem to hit really hard, but I don't know what was going down here. I don't know if this was, again, a, a double rally or a triple rally or whatever was going on here, but this pass was not ready for this Pakal Herald nonetheless. Okay. We've got the rally losing 63.3 million power with 4.5 million healed 4.2 million deads 4 million sev wounds 50 million slightly mooted and they did actually have a ton of units remaining the pass however was in a much worse uh condition okay they had 8.1 million healed 10.3 million deads 9.7 million severely wounded and 127 million slightly wounded units so i don't know what happened here this looks like it happened in uh, august so if you guys have this full report or if you have any more information about this let me know but i'm telling you man pakal herald is actually an insane combination and we actually saw a lot of pakal herald usage in our current kvk especially in open fields pakal herald is insane you can get some really good trades if you've got good tech and equipment uh even if you're 5x swarmed you can get some crazy trades with these two so I've been really impressed with Pakal Herald lately. I've already got Herald myself, so I may just be investing in Pakal, but stuff like this is the craziness that you love to see. And this is only number five on the reports. I would love to know more about the reinforcements of this pass. If it was being properly reinforced over time, we see here that they didn't have full troops, I guess when the rally first hit. So again, I don't know if this was a double or, tri or triple rally uh, scenario, or if potentially looking at the number of slightly wounded units, maybe it's possible that they had a ton of you know people and armies in that pass that were extremely low on troops and the pass maybe hit the capacity for number of armies that could be within that pass we talked about this in a previous video but you can only have upwards of a hundred armies within a specific garrison or strongholds uh and that's the cap regardless of how many troops there are so it could be the case that they were struggling to keep this full because many players had uh, you know a very small amount of troops in there and, and maybe that's why we see it get so devastated i'm not sure it could have been the uh, the technology it could have been the equipment lots to uh to question here because we obviously don't have more information other than this single screenshot with that being said let's move on to report number four and that is Ahmad versus seven so this is a player that we've seen before on this channel Ahmad Aziz is an absolute insane fighter this was all the way back in July this was Pakal Herald versus whatever was in this flag I have no idea okay I have no idea but we can see that the the trades here are pretty close so we know it was not an Attila Takeda and even if it was Attila this is a uh Genghis Khan so I, I have no clue okay I have no clue what happened to this report clearly this is buggy we see a mod totally infamous player okay and I would love to know I would love to know more about his account if he's watching I would love to do sort of like an account overview for this guy so Ahmad, if you're watching I, I want to show the world your insane account okay you're like top three most kills in the game <laughs> I would love to see more but regardless uh the Pakal Herald hits the flag okay we see seven to, pretty much 18 million deads on the rally side zero severely wounded obviously because it's a it's a rally on a flag and we've got 117 million slightly wounded units it looks like the rally did actually defeat the flag so i can only imagine how intense this rally was this must have been a flag that was crucial to the kvk because i mean you, you you just don't defend flags like this right unless they really really matter so that is it's crazy okay uh, i don't know what the troops look like here this obviously is quite the discrepancy i think this is very bugged so take this all with a grain of salt but we see 17.3 million deads on the garrison side with 4.8 million severely wounded and 133 million slightly wounded troops i can only imagine 
how, when this flag popped the tons and tons of different uh, frowny faces and how uh, how important that flag must have been and how insane it must have been to see this rally finally come to an end a mod totally infamous player insane player okay very powerful very active tons of kills uh, he again he is right now at this time of recording this uh the top three number three most kills in the entire game so when you see a rally like this coming at your flag it's a big deal okay but we're only at number four on the list and number three gets a little bit more crazy number three is going to come from this player from 45 gn versus this player in nev l i'm sorry I, I don't know your i can't pronounce your actual names here we obviously do not have a guan alex in the past and this is another thing where we we typically see these sort of glitches that happen with the these super long rally and garrison reports they they have these glitches right the game is just calculating so much data and it's just trying to figure out who was the first to be the garrison okay and that may not have been the case for a majority or 99 percent of the time uh but it may have been a guan alex for one second at the beginning of the rally and then that's what shows up on the report so we don't actually know what the uh what the garrison was here unfortunately but we do see the pass here losing 178.1 million power that is insanity that is insanity okay we don't see a full gear a full garrison with the troops here so i don't know what was going on um this could have been a multi-rally scenario and more than more likely than not it was right when you see these massive pass wars typically that pass is getting hit by two or three rallies usually if it's something as important as a pass to where you're willing to take these massive rallies uh you're gonna see multiple rallies on that pass so that's probably what's going on here so i don't know exactly what caused this to be half full at the beginning but regardless it does look like the past garrison was able to hold because this rally does take the defeat despite them winning the power loss trade here so we could take a look the rally came in with zhang yu chandragupta very common rally this is one of the most devastating rallies in the game right now it's been that way for a while so you guys this is nothing new okay we see the pass taking 5 million healed 14 million deads 12.7 million sub wounds and almost 170 million slightly wounded units they did remain with pretty much a full garrison at the end here we see the rally come in and get defeated 12.3 million deads 12 million severely wounded and 133 million slightly wounded units these are the rallies that people play the game for right these are the moments that make rise of kingdoms incredible i would love to know more about this rally report i don't have any more information as to troop buffs or reinforcements or anything like that what was the scenario what was going down here for this battle report back on july 16th let's move on to number two on the list because it gets crazier ladies and gentlemen number two is a huge a huge step up when it comes to power loss and that is none other than rock gt versus win so this looks like this is a very blurry screenshot okay so i uh, bear with me here not sure why this report is so blurry but we do see the pikal herald coming in and hitting the pass with zenobia isunsin this happened on november 17th okay so this is an insane <laughs> absolutely insane i mean we just took a huge jump up right we went from 100 and uh, 178 million power loss to 363 million power loss we can see that this rally was in fact successful this is again most likely one of those incidences where uh th this is a multi-rally scenario right we see pakal herald hitting the pass we've got 18.7 million deads for the rally 17.4 million severely wounded and almost 250 million slightly wounded units we see the defense side with the pass we got 14.4 million healed 27.2 million deads 24.5 million severely wounded and nearly 350 million slightly wounded units now i know kingdom 1960 has at least one player in the top 10 most powerful uh so i don't know if that if this is that player uh but this this 1960 is an insane kingdom okay it's an insane kingdom so when you see something like this coming at your pass you know it's going to be deadly and i'm sure everyone defending here put everything on the line to make this work unfortunately it looks like it didn't work out but just to put this into perspective right because numbers like this are are just unbelievable the United States of America in 2020 had 329.5 million people in it so that means that there were more slightly wounded units 
on the defense side than there are people in the entire country of the United States of America. Like if you got everybody in the country together to fill a pass, it would be less people than were in this pass for this rally. That's actually an insane statistic. I, I mean, just, just look at this. Okay. Look, look at this. This is, this is actually insane. <laughs> Now, I also would be curious to know sort of what was happening here with this garrison. Did they not have any sort of a mandatory Artemisia? Was that not a better choice for them? I think we're in a really interesting place here in Rise of Kingdoms where you do have multiple viable rally options and multiple viable garrison options. But guys, this isn't number one. And you are here for what is the most deadly, most insane power loss for a single side of a rally report. And that's what we're going to be showing here next. And I just want to preface this by saying, if you have a report with a larger power loss than what I'm about to show you, please share it to my discord link is always in the description. I love to see reports like this. So without further ado, the new most power loss that I've ever seen on a rally report in rise of kingdoms history comes from none other than fat lip versus sinister. This happened, uh, yesterday. In fact, yesterday morning, I did get a message over on, uh, on, on discord. I don't know if she wants her name revealed, whoever sent this to me, but if, if you're watching comment down below and I'll pin you to the top and give you credit for it. But the pass, the pass lost 476.6 million power what on literal earth this is insane okay this is insane and we actually have a screen recording of the entire thing so we're going to take a look at that in just a second because this is not the whole picture it gets way way worse so make sure you stay here for just a second longer so we can take a look at that but we've got the pass here for this portion of the report 14 million healed 32 and a half million deads for the pass on this part of the report 29 almost 30 million severely wounded and 411 million slightly wounded units the pakal herald what did i say guys pakal herald actually insane coming in here 27.3 million deads 8.8 .8 million healed 26 million severely wounded and 361 million slightly wounded units we do see way more remaining here for the rally than we do see on the pass side and that's because this was a multi rally scenario so let's go ahead and take a look at the full report here so we see you're gonna have to scroll for 20 minutes okay just to get to the bottom of a report like this it's actually insane okay this is actually crazy i mean you, you seriously gotta scroll forever okay so this is the part of the report that we just took a look at okay we saw the call herald with zenobia isunsen okay but you still get to scroll further okay so this player spike you just you left your troops there pal you just left them sitting there and they got wrecked okay you lost 1.5 million there that's a lesson to be learned here but what's most insane uh is the second part of this report okay this was a at least a double rally i don't know if it was maybe a triple rally okay but we see gilgamesh nebu coming in and also smacking this pass the pass from this part of the report loses 416.4 million power from the second rally okay now keep in mind prior to this the biggest power loss for a single rally was 408 million that i've ever seen and here we have a report that breaks that record twice in the same report okay we've got the second rally from gilga nebu performing absolute dirty work absolute insane trade here this is actually the golden boy this is what you want in rise of kingdoms look at this man look at this gilga nebu okay the past loses 28.3 million deads 26.5 million sub wounds and almost 400 million slightly wounded the gilga nebu loses only 7.5 million troops and 7 million sub wounds with 100 million slightly wounded we've got pretty much the entire rally was full and survived so we see two two rallies on this pass break the record for the biggest power loss and this pass just got absolutely abused absolutely abused we see more players just suffering from that aoe but over 890 million power loss on the pass side for this single report 
absolute insanity so huge shout out to all the players who participated in this specific pass defense i'm sure if you were there it was some of the most insane thing things you've ever seen in rise of kingdoms okay so huge congratulations to the players in this in this report because th this is this is what from what i can tell the new record i've never seen a bigger power loss than this okay if you guys have seen a bigger power loss on a single rally report comment down below but again I, it's just it's crazy to think okay it's crazy to think about i can't even put this into perspective i don't even understand like the amount of troops involved here that were slightly wounded were uh, even on just the past side it was basically like the entire united states plus all of russia combined that's pretty much what we saw for the slightly wounded units on the past side for both both rallies it's just it's absolute insanity also if you guys have the stat breakdown or anything like that for this rally report go ahead and comment down below i would love to know more information about this somebody did send me this report but the report was expired by the time that i was able to click on it and that was yesterday right so uh, you know these reports expire quickly when they're this absolutely massive it just takes up so much data right so so these reports do are they are pretty fleeting so if you do see if you ever get a report like this screen record it right away because it could go away very very quickly but either way guys uh if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace